Okay, this is a short video to discuss the process of submitting assignments um, to Blackboard. So here on your screen, uh, you can see that I'm in the Blackboard course. Uh, one thing to note is um, now all courses have to be, quote, ultra courses. So the look and feel is a little different than what you might be used to if you've used the classic or quote normal uh, blackboard in the past. So here we're in our course. Uh, we're in the um, content area that you can see right here. And currently there is only one folder in this class that is named uh, week one. So I like to divide things up uh, by week. Uh, to see what's in that week one folder, we click on it, and right now you see I have the syllabus there, I have the no-show activity, I have the instructor bio, um, I have homework one, which is to log into netacad.com um, uh, to make sure you can access the course material and course curriculum. And then what I'm going to be using today to discuss this is homework two down here at the bottom which is a screen capture now one thing to mention is um, in screen capture you may be submitting a dot png file um, but outside this assignment um, in the future i expect your submissions to be a single uh, pdf file uh, that is typically created with a pdf editor so um, I'll talk about that outside of this video. Right now I just want to concentrate on how to view and more importantly submit your uh, solution to the homework. So if I click on the homework assignment uh, it'll come up, um, it'll tell you um, uh, when, when it's due and how many attempts there are. Um, mistakenly set this to one which is usually enough but typically I set it to unlimited so if you mistakenly upload the wrong file um, you can go back and, and send the correct one so if you view the assignment um, you'll see that I have some text up here that just says hey this is your homework too it's going to teach you how to grab a portion of your screen and then here's a PDF document that are the instructions now in the case of this assignment I believe if you printed it, it would be three pages long. But most of it is saying if you're on a Mac, do it this way. If you're on an older version of Windows, do it this way. If you're on a newer version of Windows, do it this way. And then the actual assignment is two or three sentences on the very last page. So you would click on that PDF and view it. Um, once you've gone through and done a screen grab, which I've already done in advance, uh, there's also commercial software in addition to things built into the operating system. For example, I like a piece of software called Snagit. So I used the Snagit app and just grabbed a very small part of my uh, desktop, uh, just so you can see. Um, Right there is um, what, what I screen grabbed, uh, just two um, icons or two files on my um, desktop. So that is in a file um, on my machine. So here you have a submission area, a submission area, and then all you have to do in Ultra is just drag your file into that box, let go, it will ask you what you want to name it. Uh, you know, maybe I'll go through, I probably would have done this in advance, but, uh, you know, changed it to homework to Wayne Beach, for example. Like I said, I normally would have changed the file in my operating system and then just allowed it to uh, keep that same name here. You click save and it'll either show a, a, a file icon like it did here or in the case of the PNG it actually imaged it. 
Uh, once you have everything in the submission box, which again is, I think, 100% of the time from homework two on, um, it's going to be a single file. Um, you click submit and then it's saying are you really sure you want to submit it now you click submit again and then it tells you that your submission uh, was successful and um, I didn't realize I did this evidently it will send you an email for each of your submissions so that you have proof that it was submitted um, I'm just going to close this window and then it goes back to showing me the summary of the assignment and here in the background showing me the the course content so now that I'm done I'm going to close this little uh, blade here and I'm back to the course content and continue on with um, whatever I need to do so that's the process and a walkthrough on how to submit assignments um, in Blackboard Ultra